Welcome back. Now, let's check in with our host Ed Cal as he hangs out with one of the most popular pop bands in San Diego, 321 Stereo, and find out what makes their music so popular for fans and music critics alike. Hey, it's Ed, and I'm a guy who loves new wave music and electro pop music, and we're about to meet this totally cool San Diego based retroactive band. Introducing 321 Stereo. So we Right That's now. Kind of gross. Who came up with the name 321 Stereo? Where did that come from? We we came up with the name 321 Stereo and and if you think about 321 it's it's a countdown so it's about to take off. Oh, and wow. so that's that's the symbolism behind the 321, and that's the type of music that we bring. So it's feel good music with a lot of energy yeah. and stereo, just because we all grew up listening through a stereo, <laughs> uh, not through an iPod. And so we have a little bit of that retro sound, that feel to it. Yeah. Can you uh, introduce yourselves and what you what part you play in the band? My name's Trish, and I play the bass and I sing backup vocals. Oh. My name is Patrick. I'm the backup dancer <laughs> and the drummer in the band. I'm Josie. I'm the lead singer. I'm Raj and I play the triangle. I'm Raj and I play guitar. <laughs> How did 321 Stereo become 321 Stereo? Well, Josie and I met in prison. We were in. <laughs> so in 2009, uh, I was in a band, well before 2009 I was in a band with Raj and when that band didn't do so well, we decided to continue the band, uh, but rephase everything, a uh, different style of music that we were both really into and from there, I'll let Raj take it. We had some auditions and that's how we found Josie mm -hmm. and then Trisha and Patrick knew each other from school yep. and so that's how Trisha got involved as well. Josie, I love your voice. Can you um, tell me some of your vocal influences? I like a lot of different kinds of music like these guys all know. Um, I like everyone from Aretha Franklin. I love Fiona Apple, love No Doubt. Uh, you know, I, I pretty much run the gamut. Um, I like a lot of female singers, obviously, but I, I like a lot of rock as well, like PJ Harvey, <laughs> Dig PJ Harvey. Um, but I also like a lot of classical music and pretty much I'm about listening. I really think that if you listen to the song, the melody's there, it just will come through. So I know everybody has a favorite band growing up, so um, can you tell me your favorite bands? When I was in high school, it kind of hit me real close to home that uh, Blink-182 was one of the bands that you know I was growing up with and, and very close to my, my high school. Uh, I was in the Poway High School District, so mm. they uh, both uh, Tom and Mark were in Poway High School. So um, <laughs> just growing up and, and listening to those guys before they even made it made inspired me to continue being a musician. So I think Blink uh, is one of the bands that inspired me at the time when I really knew that I could be a musician. Obviously, I love Whitney Houston. I used to run around my living room <laughs> to, to her, her music, but like Maybe. when it, mm. yeah. <laughs> But um, when I was like in, in middle school and high school, I really loved Third Eye Blind. Uh, it was one of my favorites. I was a huge U2 fan growing up. Was? Well, <laughs> still, <laughs> still am. Um, Angels and Airwaves, uh, kind of going along with the Blink-182 tree. Um, and I'm kind of ashamed to talk about this, but I did like them a lot, Def Leppard. I know, yeah. I know they don't give me a lot of street cred, but I did like them. Um, Only when you dress like them, Raj. <laughs> I know I previously described your sound as retroactive, but that's I think that's a word I made up. So, uh, but how would you describe your sound? Well, we would describe it as retro modern pop. So a little bit of the past, a little bit of now, and just dancey pop music. So what's your songwriting process? There's always room for someone in the band to add their flavor to the songwriting process. So typically in most bands, I believe there's one person that writes lyrics and then there's someone that comes up with instrumental, but this band is so unique in the sense that we all put our hands in the cookie jar and make sure that we all get a nibble of it and it tastes good. I'm sorry, the fortune cookie jar. <laughs> get a nibble from that and then we check our fortunes. <laughs> 
fact, uh, all our lyrics are fortune cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me a little about your new music video. So we had an album come out called Stop, Drop, and Dance. And one of our favorite tracks on it was uh, called Wrong Together. It's kind of a, a slow groove love song with a really fine, uh, really fine bass line and it makes you move. But we did a, a music video for it. We shot some of it here at Ocean West Studios. We want to give a big thank you to them for letting us film here. Shout out to Steve. Yeah. <laughs> And um, I think you guys have the video, so you're gonna get to see it, but it was so much fun to do. It was our first real music video, um, and it was a lot of work, but gosh, it was fun. I hope we get to do more of those. I'm excited to know what's next for you guys. Well, at this point, we are trying to um, come up with a new EP. We're actually working on a new EP right now. We're working with um, a very talented person named Mark Suhonen from Dr. Seahorse. And he's helping us come up with different sounds um, for our music. A little bit more electronic, dancey feel, and uh, it's going really well. <laughs> so we're really proud of it, excited to work with other people. Um, and we're, that's probably our big goal right now, just to get that started, get that rolling, and see where that goes. After that, you know, release, release whatever we have and, and just play places, play different places to promote our album. So, but right now, just. Let's just go one at a time with, with the, Let's go. the... Naturally evolve. Yeah. I like this. <laughs> yeah. So where can fans get updates on 321 Stereo? Uh, YouTube and Facebook. Just put the search out there, 321 Stereo, and you'll see us. I can just give you guys Patrick's phone number. You can just call him whenever you want. 1-900. <laughs> you can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram. And if you want to download our music, you can go to iTunes and Bandcamp. And for the latest stuff on 321 Stereo, just go to 321stereo.com. We actually have some secret things there, like our blogs and posts. So if you want to know what's going on behind the scenes with Trish, myself, Josie, or Raj, go to the website and you'll see a lot of cool stuff. Hey guys, thank you so much for being on our show. Thanks for having us, Ed. Thanks for having us on Asian Voices. And we want to thank Ocean West Studios for letting us film here. This has been 321 Stereo. Three, two, one, stereo.